Hello and welcome to another video where we will be learning about comparing equivalent fractions. Kathy and Ryan each like different toppings on their pizza so they each got one whole pizza for themselves. Kathy ate four eighths of her pizza while Ryan ate three sixths of his pizza. Well, who ate more of their pizza? Let's find out. Since Kathy ate four eighths of her pizza, this tells me that her pizza must have been cut into eight equal slices. Now, if it's cut into eight equal slices, that means the each fraction would be one eighth. Here's Kathy's pizza cut into eight equal slices, and this piece is one eighth, 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 one eighth. Now, if Kathy ate four eighths, one eighth of the missing, one eighth, and another one eighth, that's what's left of her pizza. Now, since Ryan ate three sixths of his pizza, this tells me that Ryan's pizza must have been cut into six equal parts or six equal slices. So, the fraction of each slice is one sixth. Here's Ryan's pizza cut into six equal slices. One six, one six, one six, one six, one six, one six. And he ate three of those one six. So four eighths versus three six eaten. So let's go ahead and remove the actual pizza. And I want to turn your attention to the fact that both of these look very much the same. Would you agree? That's right. This is one half of a pizza. This is one half. One half, one half. So it's like they ate, they each ate one half. What does that tell me? Well, four eighths is equal to three sixths. Let's go ahead and identify the fractions that are equal. Then we're gonna name the actual fractions. Here I am posting up some fractions for you. As I'm posting them, I want you to look carefully at the size that's shaded. Because what we're gonna do is compare the sizes that's shaded to find equivalent fractions. Let's take, for instance, the very first one. Look at it, look at how much of the whole is shaded. Now, do you see any other that has about the same amount shaded? That's right. What is the fraction for the first one? Good, one six. And the fraction for the matching is two twelve shaded. So one six is equal to two twelve. Great job. Let's try the next one on the list. Look closely at the amount shaded. Now, see if you can find another one with the same amount shaded. Do you see it? Great job. It's the one very and the end, on the very end. Very good. Now, what is the fraction for each? Good. This fraction is one fourth, and this fraction is two eighths. So one fourth is actually equal to two eighths. We're moving right along. The third one. Good. The third one matches the one at the bottom the bottom right. So we've got one third plus, it, which is equal to two sixths. You're getting it, you're getting it. Let's keep going. Okay, so this amount matches the amount shaded here. The This amount is three fifths, and this amount is six tenths. So three fifths is equal to six tenths. This one, which matches this one shaded, and we've got four fifths, which is actually equal to eight tenths. There you go, you did it. Great job! Thank you so much for joining me on this another wonderful fractional video. I really hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you are, be sure to like our videos and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upcoming video. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>